New Balance over the past few years has been absolutely killing it. Even looking at data from resale platforms, they've been overtaking some of the biggest brands out there. They not only managed to cement themselves in the hype category, but also did this maintaining the quality and just the DNA of the brand. So today we're going to be counting down the top 10 best New Balance sneakers for 2024. Coming in at number 10 is the New Balance 550. Yes, this has been literally the most popular New Balance sneaker for the past few years. It kind of took over as New Balance's answer to the Nike Dunk and a lot of those other retro basketball styles. Now this sneaker is still definitely a great option for anybody looking for that retro basketball design. You get a great quality sneaker at a reasonable price. Here in 2024, I think we've pretty much seen it all when it comes to the New Balance 550. All of the collabs and the new colorways. I mean, their latest new colorway on the 550 model, it has that vintage out aged design, something that was extremely popular back in 2022. Yeah, great sneaker overall. I still recommend it, but if you were looking for something new and refreshing, we're probably not going to be getting that with a 550. Coming in at number nine is the New Balance 610. The 610 was one of my absolute favorite sneaker models that they brought back in 2023. It's New Balance's retro hiking slash trail inspired runner. And I think if you're looking for that specific aesthetic, something rugged, something techy, this is a perfect option. However, when this model was brought back in 2023, I don't think we've seen that much. The rollout has been very slow with this sneaker model. I'm talking in terms of new colorways and of course collaborations. They did have that collaboration with Amine, which I think was pretty solid. And of course they did the Joe Fresh Good ones, which were my favorite, but still solid option. But either way, none of this takes away from the sneaker itself. You're still getting a very comfortable, solid option and you do have different variations of it. You can go for something with a little bit more traditional New Balance materials, leather, suede, or even the retro runner kind, or you can also go and lean into that more rugged aesthetic. Coming in at number eight is the New Balance 530. This to me is basically like the bread and butter of New Balance sneakers. It's pretty much the perfect all-rounder. It's comfortable, it's affordable, and it fits in with that New Balance aesthetic perfectly. It's relatively well made. The materials aren't as premium as you could find on other New Balance models, but still pretty solid for the price point. I actually think this is literally the best budget-friendly New Balance Balance sneaker that you can buy. However, there is one drawback. If you were looking for variations of this model in terms of colorways and also collaborations, the 530 doesn't really have all that much. It really does depend what you're looking for with a New Balance sneaker. If you are going after the classic retro runner New Balance aesthetic, this is the perfect option. But if you're looking for a plethora of different colorways and materials and collaborations, yeah, the 530 is definitely not that one. Guys, Represent's first release of 2024 has literally just gone live. They just dropped brand new Owners Club pieces, which is now currently my all-time favorite in terms of colors. I picked up the Storm Owners Club hoodie, which is like this dark gray with almost a slight blue tint. It's a perfect pigment wash, and they've also added some new branding to the bag. It has this 3D rubberized feel to it, which is super dope. Of course, you've got the classic metal hardware on the pocket and around the buttons on the neck. I also picked up the second colorway part of this drop, called Mushroom, also a pigment wash. It's just such a wearable colorway. It's gonna match with so much in your wardrobe. It's just like a slightly faded topish gray. It's got all of the same details as the hoodie with the new branding on the back and of course the metal hardware as well. And both of these new Owners Club pieces pair perfectly with these knit pants. Honestly, guys, it is almost an essential right now. The current temperature somehow continues to drop. These things keep you super warm. They're made from an alpaca and wool blend with some elastane in there, so they are stretchy and comfortable. Oh yeah, and I'm also pairing this with the initial leather sling bag, which I previously owned the puffer version of this, and I ran that bag into the ground. It was literally my favorite bag out there. As always, sizing for everything along with my dimensions are all down in the description for you, along with the links for every single piece that you saw today. I want to thank you so much for using my links when I have them. It helps out the channel massively. And of course, a massive thank you to Represent for sponsoring today's video. But let's get back to it. Coming in at number seven is the New Balance 990 V4. I did debate on putting the 990 V4 a little bit higher on the list because there's been so many bangers with this model. Not to mention they dropped probably one of my favorite New Balance sneakers of all time last year with a Joe Fresh Goods collaboration. But there is just too many insanely good New Balance sneakers that we'll get into later on in the video. So the 990 V4 by name is part of the highly coveted 990 series, which is basically New Balance flagship sneaker line. 
design. This is kind of the model that you would go for if you want like unparalleled material and craftsmanship and quality. And of course, comfort. I think with the 990 line, it's almost a case of just choose what you prefer it looks wise. Because everything else is very, very similar from version to version. The V4 model, however, is the perfect option for collaborations. You've got a ton to pick from. It's from Joe Fresh Goods, like I mentioned, to Jound, Teddy Santis, Kith, the list goes on. And I do think that there will be plenty more here in 2024. I think there's a lot more that we're going to see of this silhouette in general. Coming in at number six is the New Balance 2002R. This is another great option if you're looking for something with a lot of variation. Not only have you got a plethora of amazing colorways, but you've also got a ton of great collaborations and also different versions of the 2002R that almost change it up completely. You can get the classic New Balance look or get a material forward option with the protection pack. There's even a Gore-Tex version if you want something with a lot more weatherproof durability. And all of this variation comes in a package that's extremely comfortable and relatively affordable depending on what version you go for. So yeah, definitely one of the best New Balance sneakers you can buy in 2024. Coming in at number five is the New Balance 990 V6. So this is the latest version of the 990 and in my opinion, the best one. It's the most comfortable for sure and definitely packs in a lot of New Balance's tech in terms of the cushioning. But the main drawback currently with this version is that again, there's not too much variation. The model first released back in 2022 and we're only just about to get a triple black colorway. But the rollout has been very slow, not just for new colorways, but also collaborations. There's not that many comparatively speaking to the rest of the New Balance lineup. What we have seen in terms of collaborations, granted is very, very solid. The Carhartt pair, the Action Bronsons, all great examples. But again, I think this year we're going to see a ton more of the 990 V6. I think that's going to be a centerpiece for a lot more collaborations and of course new colorways. Coming in at number four is the New Balance 1080 V13. So I'm just going to start by saying that this is one of the most comfortable shoes that you can buy from any brand. The latest version in the 1080 series, which is like renowned as one of the best running shoes series out there. One of the most interesting things with this latest version is it seems to also be the most polarizing. When these first launched, I went to go and buy a pair to test them out and I noticed that there was a decent amount or at least an abnormal amount of negative reviews. I loved the 1080 V12, so I was thinking to myself like, what's going on? Why do people not like these? It turns out they actually changed the V13s quite a bit from the V12s. For starters, the foam on the midsole is incredibly soft, way softer than any of the previous versions. It now feels like a pillowy marshmallow that you can really hardly find with any other sneaker. It's that soft. They're also much lighter as well. All of these things theoretically seem amazing to me. Lighter, more comfortable, more squishy. But if you're a serious runner, these things are not necessarily positive things. They often lead to slower times when you're running and a lot more effort going into those runs. And this is mainly just because of how soft this foam is. They do also run a little bit narrow, so I would suggest opting for the wider option, especially if you have wider to normal feet. But after I've worn these things around, tested them out, I think that a lot of those negative reviews have come from serious runners. So if you're wearing this pair of shoes just casually walking around, you're gonna be standing on your feet for a very long time doing a long walk. I think this is an incredibly good option. They're insanely comfortable and just a pleasure to have on your feet. They feel like a nice hug. I also think that these do kind of look a little bit better than the V12s as well. Very quickly gonna run through some honorable mentions before we get into that top three. We're gonna kick it off with the New Balance 327, one of my favorite sneakers from a couple years ago. I still think it's a great option, very affordable, easy to find at any different retailer. However, I do feel like the style of these things is somewhat a little bit aged when you compare it to the rest of New Balance's lineup. The New Balance Fresh Foam X More 4. These things are definitely wild looking. They have a huge stack of foam, but are incredibly comfortable and definitely up there with the 1080 V13. Not quite as squishy as those ones. If you wanted something a little bit more chunky or just liked the aesthetic of this pair of shoes, I think it's a great option. And also the trail version is something that I really liked as well. Let's hop into this top three, starting with the New Balance 1906. 2024 is going to be a huge year for the New Balance 1906. Not only have we already seen some of the best collaborations on this model, but we've got a ton in the pipeline. It really does feel like 2024 is the year of the 1906 for New Balance. It feels like they're really putting a lot of time and energy into this silhouette. It's a very similar pair of shoes to the 2002R. In fact, it actually shares the exact same midsole. So if you've tried the 
2002 R, just know that the sizing and comfort is exactly the same from pair to pair. The 1906 is such a great sneaker because there's really something for everyone. Whatever colorway or style you want, chances are the 1906 has it. Whether you're looking for a super hyped up and limited collaboration with someone like Soleil Bemberry, or hey, if you just want a classic colorway with the New Balance aesthetic, or maybe a colorway with a very material forward design, you've got a lot of, you know, suede and leathers making it feel super premium. This model has it all. Winner number two is the New Balance Warped Runner. Now granted, these may not have the hype factor yet of the 1906R, but it is literally one of my favorite sneakers that dropped last year. It is an incredible pair of shoes. So it does take quite a big leap away from, I guess, what you're typically used to seeing with a New Balance sneaker. Honestly, that's exactly why I like it. Very minimal aesthetically, just some soft, hairy suede overlaid on top of some mesh. But that really allows the shape of this pair of shoes to be at the forefront of the design. It's definitely one of the most comfortable sneakers on today's list. It may not be the most squishy underfoot, but certainly something that's going to be a great option to walk around all day in if you know you're going to be on your feet for a long time. A really nice padded sock liner. Overall, the materials feel very, very nice and high quality. It's only dropped late last year, so again, there's not too much in terms of variation of colorways and collaborations, but I think that that means that there's going to be a lot more this year. Coming in at number one though is the New Balance 9060. Honestly, I'm surprised. I thought with all of the bangers that New Balance has been putting out over the last year, we would have a new number one spot, but nothing quite beats this sneaker. It is still my favorite New Balance on the market. In fact, it's only got better since our top 10 for 2023. It's now more colorways, more collaborations, and even different versions. Again, similar to the Warped Runner, it is a leap away from what you would typically expect from New Balance in terms of their general aesthetic. It's got a chunky yet futuristic design that is very unique to this model. It's also incredibly comfortable with very, very nice materials on pretty much every option that you go for in the colorway and version range. Yeah, if you haven't tried the 9060s out yet, I highly recommend it. Everyone that I know that's tried this pair of shoes absolutely loves it. In fact, I bought a pair for my brother and he can't get these things off. He wears them all the time. Yeah, the 9060 has shot up in popularity and I think 2024 is only going to get bigger and bigger for this model. We're going to see a ton more collaborations and new colorways, which I'm really looking forward to. So guys, what do you think of my list and do you think that there's any models that should have been added? Let me know down in the comments.